Hi everybody and welcome to the DNA YouTube channel. Today is the start of my mini series on how we do genetic testing on embryos. And in order to understand that, you need to understand the anatomy or the different parts of an embryo. So let's get started. Most genetic testing done today in 2022 is done on embryos that have reached the blastocyst stage. Embryos that are grown in an IVF laboratory usually reach the blastocyst stage between five to seven days of growth. It's really important that genetic testing is done at this stage and not any earlier, because at the blastocyst stage, an embryo has started to differentiate. This means that instead of just one big cluster of cells, it started to form different parts that will grow into different things when a pregnancy is established. A blastocyst has two main areas of cells. It has an outer layer of cells, which we call the trophectoderm, and an inner cluster of cells that we call the inner cell mass. The trophectoderm, that outer layer, those are the cells that would eventually become the placenta and the other structures that would support the pregnancy if a pregnancy was established. And the inner cell mass are the cells that would become the baby itself if a pregnancy happened. This is really important for us to know which area is which when we're doing genetic testing, because if we take any of those inner cell mass cells that are going to become the baby away, that could be damaging to the embryo. But generally speaking, removing cells from the trophectoderm that becomes the placenta can be quite safe. So by testing at the blastocyst stage, where both of these parts are visible, genetic testing of embryos is much, much safer. Stay tuned for more videos in this series about embryo genetic testing to learn more about safety, risks, and how it is actually performed. And follow DNA GC on YouTube for more information.